Hello, welcome back to my channel, Family Tech, where you get all of the tech tips, news, and information that you need to help understand and manage the technology in your home. I am Sarah, I am at Family Tech on all social media platforms, so definitely subscribe to this channel, give me a follow on social media, and that can help me make more content and help you guys more. So let's dig right into today's topic. I get this question a lot, not necessarily specifically to me, but in Facebook groups that I'm in for like my neighborhood, they ask, who does everyone use for internet? My internet is so slow. A lot of times it's not actually the internet service provider because I will have the same internet service provider and my speed is actually pretty fast. So, well, pretty fast for this neighborhood. I live in the sticks, so I can barely get any internet. So let's get into why exactly your internet can be slow when your next door neighbor's internet is humming along just fine. Hello friends, I'm Sarah Kimmel, your friendly neighborhood tech expert. You can find me helping families with tech problems on TV news, podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, and my website, familytechzone.com. So the first thing I always check when I'm trying to figure out why someone's internet is slow is their Wi-Fi router. So many people just use the router that comes from their internet service provider, and unfortunately, it's usually not a very good router. Most of the time it is a modem router combo. So the modem is what brings the internet into the house and then the router is what distributes it throughout the house. So the modem is just fine, but it's the router that is not very great. What a lot of people don't understand is that your Wi-Fi router is the most used device in your entire home. Every single device in your home connects through that router. So it's worth it to spend a little money uh, and get a really good, nice router. Um, I've reviewed the Griffin AX, which is my favorite Wi-Fi router right now. Uh, there's other options, but spend you know at least two to three hundred dollars, maybe even a little more on a good router and you may even need to do a mesh setup. So what a mesh router system is, is multiple Wi-Fi routers throughout the home that work together to bring coverage to the entire house. So if you have like say a Griffin AX router and then you have another one in another corner of the house, they work together to kind of distribute that signal throughout the entire home. So a mesh system is better for a house that's you know over maybe 2,000 square feet. Um, you definitely want to look into something that will have more coverage like that instead of just a single location. So the most common thing that is affecting your internet speed is your router. If you're still using the router that you were provided from your internet service provider, get rid of that today and get a new router so that your speeds can increase. The second thing that is making your internet slow can be the location of your router. So if you have the router in a cupboard or down in the basement, it's gonna have a harder time getting that signal, the strong signal that you want on all of your devices to all of the devices. Any walls or anything that are made of concrete or brick, that's gonna have a hard time to get through. The signal for a Wi-Fi router disperses in a circle from the router. So if you put the router in the corner of your house, you're losing almost two thirds to three fourths of your signal to the outside of your home because it's only radiating in a circle around that router. So a router that has 3000 square feet coverage, you're maybe only getting 700 to 1500 square feet from the location of the router and you might be missing the downstairs, the upstairs, there's a lot of factors in that. So make sure it's in a nice central location. It is not inside a cupboard because with a cupboard, the router could overheat. Also, the cupboard can kill the signal that is coming out of the router. So you wanna make sure you have it in a nice open area in the center of your home as much as possible. Another thing that can affect 
affect your internet speed and make it slow is the router's proximity to other devices. And this is actually something that can sometimes be really hard to get around because you've got your router and your modem and then you have things that you want to connect directly to both of those devices. You might have a computer directly connected to the device and there's a lot of electronics that might work best connected directly to it. So how can you kind of space those away from the router so that those electronics are not killing the signal from the router. So one thing you can do is you can buy a switch. Now a switch just basically adds more ports. So if you plug the switch into the router, you can place the router further away from the rest of the electronics and all of those electronics can plug into the switch and they won't affect the signal coming out of the router. So um, just make sure you've got giving it some space from other electronics that are in the area. Another thing that is making your internet slow is hacks, compromises, viruses. So a compromised device might be taking up all of the bandwidth on your network. Bandwidth is like lanes of the highway. And so you can only have so many lanes going at a specific time. And if one car, so say it's a big, wide load trailer and it's taking up three lanes of traffic, there's only one lane of traffic for all of the other devices. So if there's a compromised device on your network, it could be taking up all of that bandwidth by communicating, you know, downloading things, communicating with other devices, trying to hack into other devices, trying to hack into other networks. So a compromised device can really kill all the network speeds. So I would check your devices for viruses and make sure all, everything is cleaned up on the network so that you know everything is gonna be actual traffic from yourself. So I'm gonna say one thing about speed tests. So speed tests are not always accurate and you shouldn't just rely on that speed test to tell you exactly what's going on on your network. If you're having a problem, yes, a speed test can really help figure out which devices are having the problem and which devices are causing problems perhaps, but a speed test is so dependent on so many factors. A speed test can be hindered by other devices on the network that are streaming at the time, they're get downloading notifications or downloading emails, things like that. So if other devices are taking up that bandwidth, then the device that's running the speed test is having a hard time utilizing all of that speed. And so it's going to report a lower speed than it actually has. Another thing that can affect the speed test on the device itself is things like viruses and maybe a lot of notifications going on on that device that will also affect the speed test that is happening on that device because there is background network activity that is also taking up those lanes of traffic. So you want to be aware when you're running a speed test. I mean, the best, most perfect way to run a speed test is to turn off every device in your home turn off every application on your device, turn off any background use applications on your device, and then run the speed test. Most people are not going to make that much of an effort to run speed tests unless they're really having a problem on their network. So a speed test, like I said, can really help you determine what might be happening on your network, but if you are streaming just fine, if you're not dropping calls, if you're not dropping internet connection, then a speed test really isn't gonna tell you much. It's just going to say how much speed is available to that device at that given moment. So it's not a really good true test of how much speed is actually coming in and out of your network. So definitely keep that in mind when you're running speed tests and if Internet is running okay, but it's your browser that is running slow. It's definitely viruses, so check your computer for viruses. Check the extensions that have been enabled on your browser and make sure all of that is cleaned up so that you're really just getting the traffic that you are expecting and that you are paying for. So. 
hopefully that'll help you speed up your internet and make sure you're following me on social media. I'm at Family Tech on all social platforms. I respond to direct messages specifically on Instagram. So if you have any further questions, definitely hit me up there. Uh, subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of these tech tips. I do release them every Thursday. So hopefully we'll see you next Thursday. Oh, 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 oh,